I remember someone said, we all know your dad's a junkie or your dad uses drugs and stuff, and I was just like, I ain't got a dad, I hate my dad or something really mean, and I, just, I didn't know how to talk about it, so I just said, no, that's bollocks, I don't know my dad. I really regret saying that. The only person I really spoke to about how I was feeling at the time was my oldest mate, Brendan. Probably because he was going through a similar experience of his dad, who had addiction issues and paranoid schizophrenia. Hello, Hello bruv. See? Yeah, good to see you, mate. Thanks for coming. Do you remember the first time we, like, first openly discussed the fact that, like, my dad was using drugs or your dad was using drugs? Was it, was it, did you talk first about it? Was it me? Can you I don't know. We, we always used to kind of exchange war stories. You used to say about your dad and his problems with addiction and that, and, and like, my kind of upbringing as well, because it was the same sort of stuff that went on behind closed doors, wasn't it? So no one really knew about yeah. it. This kind of thing can be so well hidden, right? Well, yeah. He was a paranoid schizophrenic, and we didn't know at the time. When he was nice, he was really nice. And then when he was angry, he was really violent. Just like, switched like out of nowhere. Yeah, bang, that's it. What did you think was wrong with him? You just thought he had a bad temper? Yeah, and just thought he was just like up and down. It was just very unpredictable. That's that thing, it's the unpredictability. Like for me, it was just like, is my dad gonna be clean? And that, that cycle of, of addiction and relapse is so traumatizing. How do you think it affected you? Well, it did, didn't it? I've ended up in recovery myself, so. I got involved in drugs when I was, 16, 17, I suppose. Really? See, yeah. I, I, thought, I thought your introduction to drugs was late. I didn't think it no, was that young. No, no, it was still there, mate. I remember being at school, like, looking up drugs all the time, what sort of drugs they do. And I remember stuff. thinking, like, for me, like, drugs scared me so much because <coughs> of heroin being such a destructive drug. Yeah. It really frightened me. I, I thought if I, if I try it, if I try drugs, I'm going yeah. to become a drug addict. It used to frighten the life out of me. Yeah, yeah. I think yours come out in a different way, and I've bottled it up in a different way, do you know what I mean? Yeah. What was I like? That's what I want to know. Like, you can be honest. Like, what was I like? Just a, like, I'd say you're like a, a shelf <laughs> little prick. <laughs> um, Put it about right. No, yeah, you just a centre of attention. Can you sort of understand why I needed that attention? Maybe like looking. Well, knowing yeah, why you know now because you weren't getting it at home with your dad. Do you know what I mean? It was because of the disappointment of. He's clean, like we're stable, everything's yeah. we're cruising along, and then suddenly, you know, he relapses. I lose my dad, and it was—it's like it is. You're grieving every time because yeah. you don't know long that you know how long that's going to go on for. Oh no, yeah, you don't. At that time, I didn't understand addiction. I just saw these drugs taking my dad away. I, I couldn't speak to him. I couldn't, you know, I wouldn't be able to read me books and put me to bed and stuff like. That. Yeah. All the things that I do with Indy now. Yeah, all the all the things that. I, all the things that I love doing with India, you know, Molly. Now every single night, I put them to, I do bath them. I put, I put them to bed and read, read, read their books every night. Like without fail, I don't care what's going on in my day. I'll be there reading their books at night. And I, so yeah, like I missed out on shit like that, which that's upsetting because, you know, I, w I wish I had that relationship. 